Okay, so when you are a small YouTube channel, and by small I mean under 10K subs, most people are gonna find your videos using the search functionality on YouTube. When I want to rank my videos on YouTube, my first step is to do keyword research. And so in this video, I'm gonna take you through how I do keyword research step by step, and you can follow along. So, are you ready? Hey entrepreneurs, it's Salma Jafri. I'm a video content strategist and you are in the right place if you want to grow your personal brand with video. Be sure to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon next to it if you want to be the first to know when I upload a new video. I want to talk about keyword research because it is the number one step in ranking your videos and finding the right keywords can be a little bit challenging. That's why I created this step-by-step -step video to guide you through how to find the keywords that will help you rank on YouTube. Now you want to think about YouTube as two-sided. There's a demand side and there's a supply side, okay? On the demand side is what people are searching for. So when they go to YouTube or Google and they type in a query about a problem or a challenge that they want to solve, that is them showing you search volume, AKA demand. So these are the topics that people are typing into, which tells you this is what people want. This is the demand side of the equation. On the supply side is the search results that show up, including yours. So what are video creators or entrepreneurs or business owners providing to meet that challenge that somebody has typed in? What is the answer? What is the solution? So that is the supply side of the equation. So in essence, keyword research is simply providing the right supplies for the right demand. So let's get into the steps of how I do it. So step one is to make a whole list of video content ideas. That's where it all starts. It starts with a little literal brain dump of ideas. Now I do this on Evernote as I'm taking a walk or watching a show or just letting my mind go blank and ideas come, right? But if you are having trouble finding video content ideas, I do have a video which I'm gonna to link to up here on how to find video content topics using keyword tools. You can go watch that for some inspiration. There's another uh, really powerful way to find ideas and that I wanna to link to. It's James Altucher's article on how to generate 10 new ideas every single day. It's a great mind exercise to just get your creative juices flowing. So I'm gonna to link to that in the description below. So step two is to take your video content idea and plug it into a video content plan. Now, I think that this step is absolutely essential if you want a branded look to your channel, if you want consistency, and if you just want to be able to create regular videos all the time. Now, the thing is that if you don't have a plan, your videos are going to be a series of hits and misses because there's no clear strategy behind them. And that is exactly what happened to my channel between 2009 and the end of 2016. As you can see, I had very irregular results. My video production was very sporadic. So in 2017, I created a simple Google spreadsheet that formed the basis of my video content plan. And you can download this spreadsheet, this template as I call it, for free, it, the link is in the description below. Now, when you download this, you will also be put on the wait list for my new course coming out, which is how to create a video content plan, which is gonna dive deeper into all of the aspects of this whole strategy. And I promise you it is worth it to put in that effort to make that plan so that you can get great consistent results with your video marketing. Step three is to find your focus keyword. Your focus keyword is the primary keyword that you want to rank your video with. You could have other secondary and tertiary keywords, but the focus keyword is the one you really want to get that ranking for. So to find the search volume for your focus keyword, I use a tool called Keywords Everywhere. And even though it may not be the most scientific way, but it does give me like a gut check on, okay, what kind of search volume does this keyword have? ballpark figures. So I usually want to aim for a high search volume so that it's a video that is in demand. Okay, one other quick fact about your focus keyword, it must be at least three to four words. Do not choose keywords that are one 
to two words. A classic beginner mistake is to uh, think very broad words, which are just one or two phrases. You definitely want to go long tail. You definitely want to go in more detailed, more in-depth, more specific keywords, at least three to four words. Okay, so once you have done the demand side, which is to find your focus keyword, let's move on to step four, which is the supply side, which is to take a look at what videos already exist around that keyword. So the simplest way to do that is to type in your focus keyword in YouTube search and see how many video results come up. Now, here's another classic mistake uh, that beginners make, which is to go for keywords that have millions of search results come up. So you are essentially gonna be competing against millions of videos. And that is not good odds to start a YouTube channel with or to grow a small channel with. So ideally, you wanna make sure that competition is low. So let's talk numbers here. What kind of numbers are you looking for when you think search volume? for focus keyword, and what kind of numbers should you look for when you're thinking competition? So a good uh, starting point would be for a very, very beginner channel, focus keyword try and have at least 500 monthly searches happening. So 500 people are searching for that keyword every month, while competition should be below 5,000. So less than 5,000 videos exist around that focus keyword. If you're a slightly larger channel, then you could do 1,000 monthly searches at least and under 100,000 search results. So that is like a bit of a gauge or a ballpark range that you could work with. Step five, use TubeBuddy. It's a Google Chrome extension, comes in a free and a paid version. You install it on your browser and using the extension, TubeBuddy is going to give you a keyword score for your focus keyword. Now, for me, I try and have the keyword score at least 60, which is good, or 70, which is very good. I try not to use a keyword that goes below that range. Obviously, higher is better. So when you type in your focus keyword in YouTube and you have TubeBuddy installed, look at the TubeBuddy score, which essentially tells you how well will this video perform and how much chance do you have to rank it on YouTube? Okay, so at this point you might be thinking, well, Salma, what if I don't find a keyword that has a high search volume and low competition? Or what if I find a keyword that could potentially rank really well, but it's not a topic that I wanna create a video around? Well, at that point you have a choice. And you can either go with choice number one, which is to create a video around a topic which is actually in demand, or you can decide to create a video for which there is no demand. And I can tell you very simply what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen is that your channel is not gonna grow if you choose to create videos around topics that are not in demand. So if you want to grow your channel, you have to compromise a little bit on perhaps doing exactly what you want to doing what your audience wants and needs from you at that time. If you're a bigger channel and you just wanna be creative or you are just starting out and you just wanna practice making videos, then maybe you can you know, have a little bit more creative leeway and create whatever you want without being bothered too much about rankings and all of that. But I would say that in the early stages, it is a bit of a compromise. It is something you need to practice and keep doing many, many, many times until you find something that matches both what you wanna make and what your audience is looking for. It's an art, part art, part science. We move on to step six, which is to craft your title. You have your keyword, the first thing you wanna do when you think about your title is to front load your keyword into that title. And by front load, I mean as much as possible. The first couple of phrases in your title should be your focus keyword. So what about the rest of it? So you wanna have a nice compelling title. So front load your keyword. And then for the rest of your title, try and include an emotional hook. So maybe you could say something like Facebook groups marketing, what to actually say inside a Facebook group. Or maybe Facebook groups marketing, the stuff you didn't know, <laughs> you know? So you wanna make sure that you have things for both the algorithm, the keywords, and for humans, your audience, which is the emotional context. Oh, and another tip I have for you here is if you think of something really cute, 
that you want to say or like a slang or something, the place to put that is not in your video title, but there is a place. The place to put that is in your thumbnail. So the cute phrases, the slangs, the funny stuff, complements the video title and goes in your thumbnail text. In this video, I wanted to focus on keyword research. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to take the keywords that you have identified as being great keywords and how to write tags and descriptions around those keywords. So stay tuned for next week's video. I have two call to actions at the end of this video, two things I want you to do. The first thing is that I have a live stream starting every single Friday. It's gonna be all about how to plan your content. So you wanna stay tuned to that. So that I'm gonna drop the link in the description. Join me every single Friday and I'm gonna be taking your examples. So you're gonna give me topics and I'm gonna help you create a keyword optimized content plan. Sounds good? I'll see you on Friday. My second ask today is for you to get the video content template if you haven't already, so you can start to strategize and plan your keywords. The link is in the description below to the video content plan. Remember to go after what you want and build a brand you love because you can be the media. Oh, so you wanna know like my favorite SEO joke ever? It, it stands the test of time. Okay, here goes, ready? What is the best place to hide a dead body? The second page of Google search results. <laughs>